Aquarius. Happy New Year. Again, hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, angels, and universe, all right, has for you, Aquarius. You got the Doble Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. Uh-oh. Are you thinking about a reproach? Oh, oh, as soon as I said it, the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. And the Three of Wands. Yeah, you went You went from the two to the three. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, what I'm hearing. Oh, boy. Page of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius, are you finally reaching out to your person after... Three lifetimes in six days. Knight of Nine of Cups. Go Aquarius. Okay. It's about time. Good Lord. Y'all are just about as stubborn as the day is long. Some of y'all. Eight of Swords. As soon as I said it, Eight of Swords just fell out. Seven of Cups. You feel like this person has a bunch of options. You don't even know if they're going to want you anymore. You don't took forever in four days. So, let's see. Let me, look, let me put out the rest of these cards before we start telling this story. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Ah, Six of Cups twice. Six of Cups twice. Look at the Two of Wands. All right, Aquarius, what do we have here? Are we doing romance angels with these two? I guess so. Let's do romance angels today. All right, so what do you have? You have to make a decision that you don't want to make. Not only do you not want to make this decision, but you have been in your head about this decision for a long time. Could have been eight months, could have been eight days, could have been since August of 2020. The year of hell. Anyway, um, this is, I uh, hear you may be interested or want someone who you feel is unattainable. Okay? This is somebody who you are extremely attracted to, but you don't, you don't know a lot. You may not know a lot about the person. You may not know their, their, their status, if they're single, married, whatever. You don't know if they want you. You don't know if they're gay or straight. It's almost like this particular queen of wands, she's this mystery to you, right? But I do kind of feel like there's something that just won't let you forget her or let her go. I say her, but energy is genderless, so it could be a male as well, right? I feel like this person does it for you. Y'all know I don't believe in the one, the two, or the three, right? But I do feel like this is somebody who really does it for you on an emotional level. Not only that, but you you have the six of cups here with the queen of cups, and then you have the six of cups here. So it's almost like you have all of this love and devotion around you, or, you know, it's almost like you love how this person loves you love how this person loves you, right? Um, this is definitely somebody who you could see yourself with for a long time, right? Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who you feel like is worth your time, worth your energy, worth your money, your coins, riding in your car. It, you, I feel like I'm, uh, my solar plexus is pulling in. So it could be the energy of this Queen of Wands. Like you just want for this, this person. There's a pull there's some sort of current inside of you towards this person. Now, I don't see any hellish cards on this table, you know, kind of signifying like that they are hell on wheels, um, especially here with the Queen of Cups. You know, it's weird because the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands for my readings have been coming out together. And to me, it's almost like, you know, all the queens are a total package, right? But these two queens represent love and passion and sex and sexuality and emotion, c compassion and emotional support and just all of those things. So to me, it's almost like this person is the complete package. But I just kind of feel like you're kind of stuck in a bucket. You don't know what to do. It's almost like maybe you want her to approach you. But, you know, here we go again, Aquarius. You know, 
he's waiting on that ship. And that ship could come right up in front of him. He still has to get on it, right? The ship ain't going to go and grab him and swallow him up like, hey, come get on me. No, that ship could, ship could come within spitting distance of him. He's the one who still has to make the effort to get on it. And Aquarius, I just kind of feel like you're just stuck. You're just stuck. It's almost like you've painted yourself into a corner. And I'm hearing somebody say, yeah, how do I get out of it? You're going to have to allow that uh, big, beautiful organ called your heart out of your chest. Open up emotionally and let this person know how you feel. Right? Not only that, but here with the page of pentacles and then also the six of cups this basically says somebody makes a move it looks like you aquarius i could be wrong but it looks like you it looks like you finally you know um move forward you finally make that offer that gesture send that message to say hey would you like to go out and have a drink and again we got six of cups here so this is almost like you inviting this person back into your heart back into your emotional space let's call it Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands, there it is right there. It's almost like you're choosing love, you're choosing emotional fulfillment. Okay? Um, yeah, it's almost like you're ready to love, Aquarius. That's pretty cool. You know, here with the Seven of Cups, this is really not a negative reading at all. At all. At all, all. Okay? But here with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like you... You could be in love with this Queen of Wands, too. And the Wands, of course... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, okay? But it's almost like you are, you know what I just realized? These are the only two swords on this table. And I feel like, Aquarius, this is exactly you, right? This is that mental energy. Is I don't know if you've been lying to yourself, oh, this person doesn't want me. I don't need them in my life. I don't this, that, or the other. But I can tell you here with these two Six of Cups sitting here, that's bullshit, because that feeling ain't go nowhere. Your mind can tell you whatever the hell it wants to tell you. It can tell you you're a damn duck. Okay? But when you look in the mirror, honey, you don't see no duck. So I do kind of feel like to an extent you've been trying to deny, push this person out, push this person away. Keep your distance from this person. But this Queen of Wands energy is like good luck, Chuck. Because uh, I'm sitting right here. The other thing too is some of you guys may not even be in contact with this person but this person has a stronger presence in your life, almost like they're right next to you. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like for some of you, I just heard you might've been dreaming about them. You could go out, hang with your buddies, think you see the person. You know, this is a card of halluc hallucinations as well, intoxication, things of that nature. So I just kind of feel like this person, me and my best friend back in the day, we would get coined the phrase, you're being haunted by this person, almost like everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, it's like, blam, there's some sort of, um, some sort of, um, symbol or, you know, of this person, a reminder of this person. And, you know, again, these six of cups, you got the six of cups twice, and then you got the queen of cups. I feel like your heart may jump out of your chest, Aquarius, and be like, it may jump ship. <laughs> it may jump ship, you know. Be like, look, I'm out of this shit. I got to go find me some, my love. You know, you could, you could stay out here or you could stay over here. I'm going to go and, and, and get on this ship and, and we going to go and we going to go with the flow and we going to rock the boat. Okay. All right. So let's see what the romance angels has for you, Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you guys are afraid of letting go because you don't want to lose control because you feel like if you lose control, you're going to be helpless. You're going to be vulnerable. You're not, you, you're not, you're not sure if you're going to be able to make it back in control, whatever that means to be in control. Um, cause we're not in control of anything by the way. Um, so it's almost like you have been fighting tooth, nail and fingertips to keep yourself out of this person's energy field. But it's almost like you kind of forgot to kick, kick them out of your own energy field which they are pretty much dominating right now. Anyway, this card fell out. <laughs> I just picked it up to read it. It's true love. Hmm, wonder what that means. The next card. Engagement. 
engagement does mean, you know, the step before marriage relationship or status before marriage. But engagement for me as a reader also means, you know, there is reciprocity going on. We're talking to each other. We're in conversations. We're hanging out. We're engaging with each other. Last card. What did I say? Separation. A lot of you guys um, are already separated, may not be on speaking terms with this person. But I kind of feel with the, uh, with this video, Aquarius, it's almost like the universe is saying, it's time to make that call. It's time to make that call. It's time to reach out. Now, here's the thing, because I know a lot of you will leave in the comments, I ain't calling them. They're going to have to call me. Well, that's fine. If you're not going to call the person, just open yourself up to what, being able to receive them if they should reach out to you. Because that's the other thing, too. You can be like, oh, I ain't calling them. They're going to have to call me. <laughs> then when they call your phone, you, you let it go to voicemail. All right, Aquarius, come on. So if you're not going to reach out to the person, if you don't want to reach out to the person, and at the end of the day, if this person kind of messed you over, that's not the person I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking about this is somebody who you have, you have deep feelings for. You have very deep, very sincere, and very childlike and pure. I can't even say unconditional love. I won't, but I could. You know, you have really, really pure feelings for this person. Okay? Card at the bottom. Attraction. Okay? So Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. If you guys want a personal reading, contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye Aquarius. Love you.